good, y'all? It's the Mega Manager here checking in, man. And today I bring you guys the first episode of my Bulk is Life series, man. So I finished my photo shoot. I'm waiting on the edits. So the next one to two videos, expect to see some pictures from there. I'm probably gonna drop them on Instagram first. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's gonna be I'm gonna put it right here on the screen at Aesthetic by Nature. A E S T A G T I C B Y Nature. All right. So I'm um, really stoked to you know get those images back and to show you guys. All right. So the cut went really well. It was the leanest that I ever got personally. Um, and I felt pretty good. You know, I didn't really feel bad until I got like you know to the fasted cardio the last week. That's when I started to feel fatigued. That's about it. Uh, so what I'm doing now, so I recently, you probably noticed, oh, he hasn't posted a video in like over a week. I took 10 days off of life, all right? So what I did was I went on like a, a little bit of a vacation. I took a week off of work. I took a week off, you know, the YouTube stuff, pretty much a week off of Instagram. I was posting my story a little bit here and there, and I posted like maybe like once or twice, uh, but I pretty much just took a break. Uh, I definitely needed it. I feel a lot better. I took a break from dieting. I was kind of like eating what I wanted to, but I still made sure, you know, that I had, you know, all the protein that I needed. And I started out clean, and I was like, man, fuck it, man. Let me enjoy my life for a little bit. So um, I, did that, I did that for 10 days, and now I'm back home because I was in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Now I'm back home in Virginia, uh, so I went grocery shopping this morning right when I got off work to get a clean start. So now everything's going to be clean. I put on a lot of weight, <laughs> probably like a good like probably like 15 pounds, but a lot of it's just water and food, man. So I'm uh, probably going to cut that down this week. I'm probably going to keep my carbohydrates not too high uh, just so I can cut some of that water out and really, you know, just be able to see everything still. You know, everything, abs still visible. I uh, still feel good, but I feel like, you know, Get a little bit bigger, muscle filling, all stuff like that, and my strength has been going up. So I started my new program. Uh, this is the sec fifth day of the second week. Um, it's going really, really good. It's actually very difficult. It's breaking my body down a lot uh, by like the third day because it's a full body program, five days in a row, and then two days off. Uh, and I've had to modify it here and there, but I'm starting to perfect this slowly, and everything's going good. Strength's going up. I feel like you know starting to grow a little bit. So everything's going good on that, of course. So what I'm going to show you guys right now. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that workout too, uh, but I'm gonna show you guys the foods that I'm gonna be eating. All right. So if I don't eat out, which will probably be like you know maybe like once or twice a week, I'm gonna be eating at home. Like I really don't. I'm not one of those people that like I don't want to be gluttonous. I don't want to just eat fast food the whole fucking time and dirty bulk and shit like that. I don't do that. Uh, but I will be enjoying some fucking uh, fast food, maybe even some McDonald's from time to time. But I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I will eat so you have an example, you know, of what to eat if you want to grow. All right. All right, first things first, they're a little mushed up, but 100% whole wheat uh, English muffins. These are really delicious. I like to put, I like to make little peanut butter jelly sandwiches with them. And I use sugar-free strawberry preserves, which I have in here, and I put peanut butter on natural peanut butter. And it tastes really, really good. Um, the Thomas ones are, you know, something that's a staple in my diet when I'm trying to grow. Next, I got some bagels, man. So what I decided to do is I got two different kinds, well, three different kinds actually. Because that third one smells fucking good. This one right here. So, 100% whole wheat. So, these are going to be ones that I would eat, you know, throughout the day and everything. Um, because, you know, it's whole grain. So, it's not going to spike my insulin too much. And then I got these other two that I can have, you know, as like my post-workout carbohydrates. Blueberry and uh, maple french toast. This motherfucker smells good. That's the only reason I picked it up. I saw it. I was like, oh my God. It shit smells like fucking french toast. So, I bought it. <laughs> uh, so, these are going to be like... Maybe like, you know, either uh, if I eat in the morning, like when I'll get up, or if, you know, I want this to be my post-workout uh, carbohydrates, that's what these are going to be. And for times that I just want candy after my workout, for instance, the spike. Uh, Twizzlers are one of my favorites. I love these fucking sweet and sour. These are my favorite candy, pretty much. Um, and then Haribo gummy bears, classics, man. Spike that instant. When you buy candy, make sure that the main ingredient is either corn syrup or dextrose. Okay, here's the natural peanut butter. You know, you guys know I love me some natural peanut butter. I pour the oil out because I like it dry for some reason. I don't know why. It tastes a lot better for me. Uh, so try it out, to be honest. Try it out. Get the Smucker's Natural and pour the oil out. And it's going to dry up um, by the end of the day. And try it, man. It tastes good as hell. So peanut butter, I usually have one to two servings, depending on what, like, you know, what my fat levels are that day. I typically eat high fat. All right, so when it comes to cooking my chicken, I found... Uh, pretty much the ultimate solution for like the sauce that I want to use in the crock pot. I use the craft sauces, all right? So I got two different ones right here, the hickory smoke and the sweet brown sugar. So the reason I use craft sauces over the other ones is because right here, no high fructose corn syrup, all right? 
that's like, you know, our body's like arch nemesis. So I try to stay away from that as much as I can. I really don't get into my diet. I didn't even get into my diet this week, really. Eh, maybe a little bit, because I kind of didn't give a fuck towards the end. Uh, but <laughs> I try to stay away from that, you know, especially when I'm watching my diet and everything. Um, and just the, the main thing, as far as like the sugars that's in this, is just sugar um, and brown sugar, stuff like that. You know, it's nothing, nothing too crazy. And when you put it in a crock pot, I like to tell people, you know, you can use this and not worry about the carbohydrates in it because you're not going to be eating all the sauce. You're going to be eating the chicken. It's going to be like, you know, on the outside of the chicken, maybe a little bit on the inside too, depending on if it soaks in or not. But it's not, you're not eating the whole fucking serving, you know, just because you have some chicken. I mean, you're eating the serving of this. So even if you use other barbecue sauces, it's okay. Don't worry. Sugar-free star preserves. I already said something about that. I put this on my English muffins. Uh, you can put it on whatever the fuck you want. But uh, this has been a staple of my diet for quite a long time. All right, man, so I got two sets of fruit, all right? I got Fuji apples. I love these motherfuckers. They're so sweet. And then I got these cuties because I love them too. And they're they're easy to peel and easy to eat, and they taste really, really good. It's like a better version of an orange. I don't know how they innovated this or how it was created. I don't fucking know, but they're good. <laughs> so I'll typically, I'll probably have fruit, like maybe, I'll probably have fruit every day because I don't want it to go bad, but... Um, I'm not too big of a fruit person, but I like to have it in there just, you know, cra uh, fix that sweet tooth craving just to have, uh, just to have fruit in my diet, man. The other thing, Kashi waffles, all right? So you might have heard of Kashi Golden cereal. I think that's one of the things too, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm assuming because it's the same name. But I love the waffles, okay? So I'm, I actually forgot to get syrup, but I'm going to go get some sugar-free syrup from the store. Um, but Kashi Blueberry waffles is a really good, it tastes like regular waffles, um, whole grain pretty much. And yeah, man, these are perfect for, you know, if you're cutting or if you're bulking. It's definitely if you're bulking because it's going to get the calories up, man. And last, well, no, not last. So next, uh, Oiko's Triple Zero Yogurt. I was going to get a bunch of the little ones, but with the way I have my diet formatted now, I don't really need these. These are better for like, for me, these are better for like a cut if I need like the extra protein or whatever. Um, I'm going to be eating like, a, I'm going to get a lot of my protein from meat now. Uh, so this is going to be something like maybe like one day I just want something sweet and I want to get some protein. I'm going to weigh some of this out and eat it. So uh, that's why I got this instead of like the little uh, packets as usual. All right, last but certainly not least, I like to make burritos and shit. Whether it's going to be, I'm going to be making tacos from time to time. And I'm also going to be making like breakfast burritos. So when I do that, I like to use the carb balance for tears. So I just got two. So I'm going to put one in the freezer while I eat the other one. So... Pretty much, if you don't know about these, I've been pre preaching these for a while. Uh, six grams net carbs, pretty much all fiber almost. They taste really, really good. And, you know, you can make a burrito, taco, whatever the fuck you want to make with this. Um, and it's not going to hurt you, you know. And it's uh, whole, all the carbs that are in it, whole wheat, all right. They also have, like, a regular one with regular flour. But I like to keep it clean, man. Complex carbohydrates, motherfucker. All right, man, I actually forgot these. These are hiding in the back. So um, I got 93.7 ground turkey for my protein. And I got some boneless skinless chicken breast. They didn't have the fresh ones, so I had to get some frozen ones. Um, but they've been thawing out. And almond milk. Um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Definitely one of my staples. Uh, I prefer that over um, milk. It tastes really good, especially with cereal or protein. And I got two boxes of cereal, man. So I got a box of Raisin Bran. I got a box of Honey Nut Cheerios. All right, so that was my shopping trip. All right, man, so that's pretty much that. I've taken my pre-workout already. I uh, got my Pump Chases gear on. So today... It's day five of my program, and you guys are going to see a little bit here. Um, a lot of it is body weight based. Other than my legs, I do uh, Romanian deadlifts. Uh, other than that, and whatever I'm going to do for my quads, I haven't decided yet today because uh, I'm still tweaking a couple things. So, everything else is body weight for the most part. I was trying to find like a shoulder body weight exercise, but last week I did like some high rep uh, standing dumbbell presses, and my shoulders were a little bit fatigued when. Um, the next uh, shoulder workout came, my first shoulder workout of the week. So what I'm gonna do is instead of doing presses, I'm probably gonna do some type of raise or maybe like just do some like face pulls or something like that with the rope. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do today. So you're gonna see, this is like high rep, go to failure a few times type stuff. It's all supersets as usual. You know, I don't like, I don't do nothing but supersets. Uh, so yeah, man, so I'm gonna get to this workout. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, maybe I'll talk to you a little bit on the way, who knows? What's good, y'all? So this is my day five of my workout. So I'm starting out with uh, some pull-ups. Um, these are all extended sets. So this is pull-ups um, extended to chin-ups, 
which is just you know switching my grip you're gonna see me switch my grip over uh just to a closer grip uh just to get some extra uh just to get a couple extra reps in and uh when you do that it use it targets your biceps a little bit more so you're gonna be able to get a little bit more out of your back okay and then I'm doing my push-up series, okay? I really love this push-up series. You go from decline push-ups, do as many as you can to failure, and then switch right over uh, into just regular flat push-ups, I, I would call it. And then you're going to put your hands on the bench after you hit failure here. You're going to put your hands on the bench and do incline push-ups, okay? So each one of these hits a different part of your chest, and um, it progressively gets a little bit easier. So decline is the hardest, um, flat Regular push-ups is right in the middle, and the incline push-ups are the easiest. So it really helps you fatigue your chest and hit every muscle fiber that you can, man. So uh, I just have one clip from each one of these. So I did three sets um, of everything, and I did a rest pause, uh, double rest pause, or a rest pause drop set, depending on like what it was. I think on this day I just did like double rest pauses. So it's five sets total for every exercise. So right here, this is going to be a tri set. So I just do some rope face pulls. I really don't do this too often. I just did it because I wanted to change up from pressing because last week my shoulders were fatigued by the time I got to my next um, shoulder workout for the, to start this week out. Uh, so I just want to try something out. Um, and so I did rope face pulls. And what I do is I put my thumbs over instead of under. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell there. And I feel it a lot more on my shoulders when I do that. Um, so I don't grab it the typical way. Oh, actually, no, my thumbs go under. Sorry about that. My thumbs go under, and I pull it, and I try to squeeze and focus on the muscle. So uh, right here, I call this the tricep body press. I don't really know what to call it. <laughs> uh, so you can set it up at any station like this. Uh, you can do this virtually almost anywhere in the gym uh, where you have a bar that can suspend somewhere, um, and it won't move. So pretty much, you're just uh, going down nice and slow, getting that full stretch in the triceps, and then exploding back up. And you're really going to start to feel the pump. And just try to get as many as you can. You probably haven't seen the exercise, and you probably haven't done it before, so I really recommend it. Right here, I would call these um, inverted uh, body curls. Uh, so pretty much, you're just trying to uh, mimic a curl motion um, you know, with that same bar. And just try to pull your body, try to pull your head up to the bar, and squeeze your biceps at the top. And control it on the way down. You're really, really going to feel that um, in your biceps if you do it correctly. Um, try to focus on not rowing it and focus on, you know, curling. Think, Imagine yourself having a bar in your hands and you're just curling, okay? Uh, the only thing is the weight that you're curling, you know, is your body weight. Uh, so right here, um, I wanted to keep this in here. It's one of those um, double rest pauses I was talking about uh, where I go to failure, rest 15 seconds, and then go to failure again. Um and then rest 15 seconds to go to failure again. So um, it's a way to get some extra volume in there, okay? Um, and really to tear the muscle down, especially when you're doing like lighter lighter weight, you have to attack your muscle, okay? And to be honest, I really, really, really like these uh, tricep presses, man. Um, it's a really good alternative to, you know, using heavy weight and damaging your elbows and stuff. It's a good break. That's what I like about this, um, this uh, body weight day. It gives my body kind of a break, but I still... You know, I'm still sparking muscle protein synthesis. I'm still um, tearing my muscle fibers down. So right here, you saw me move the bar up. So I did a rest pause. And then this is kind of like a drop set. I made it a little bit easier so I can get some more reps out and get a little bit more uh, pump to my triceps, okay? And I think I do the same thing here. Um, I do a rest pause for the curls. And then I'm going to bring the bar down. I have a little bit of trouble when I'm doing it. But I'm going to bring the bar down and do some more reps. Uh, yeah, I had a bicep, I had a bicep pump by the end of this, and my forearms, everything was pumped today, like, every, it, it was really, 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 really good workout, I really like it a lot, so I highly recommend it, uh, I really wanted to put some body weight type stuff into my routine, so I can kind of master my body, so here's my last superset, it's in the form of a tricep, uh, I'm doing straight arm dips with the tricep, um, I think it's a tricep dip machine, I'm doing straight arm dips, so, so pretty much I'm getting there, I'm standing up, and it's kind of like you're pushing down with your traps, and then you're almost like it's like you're resisting it on the way up a little bit. So it's like shrugging, but you it's a it's like a push version of a shrug, I would say. So it's a way instead of you know doing the usual trap uh pulling motion, you're kind of doing a pushing motion where you're resisting the weight and pushing it back down with your traps. And if you haven't done it before, you'll probably be sore after you try this shit out. And you could do this um on a dip bar as well. But I wanted to do this with uh with some weight. Um, and just to get my body, you know, just a different feel because I haven't done these in a while. And this is the first time I actually did this. I usually do it on a straight, uh, on, on a dip bar, but I just want to do it right there. So, uh, right here is a bodyweight calf move, just calf raises with a uh, single, a uh, single leg. I can't do 
body weight with like you know two calves i'll be able to go forever with that shit uh so i just wanted to go and focus on it's harder when you try to maintain your balance that's why i do it like this instead of just doing it on the ground i wanted to focus on you know having to maintain my balance so i had to keep my core tight and also i had to focus a lot more on squeezing my calf muscles and keep maintaining my balance um and that made it a lot harder and it got me a lot more of a calf pump so i believe that this is my second set i mean my third set of this so i'm doing my you know double rest pause and everything and the biggest thing with this is go down and get that stretch and squeeze it at the top okay now this one i made this up on the spot um it's like standing crunches um it's like standing cable crunches but just with your body weight but i put a 10 pound plate behind my head i was like hmm, let me add a little bit of resistance and this shit was hard you're gonna see it in my face like i got an ab pump for this like and this is gonna be something that i do more often now i really like it a lot so um, if you haven't, if you know how to contract your abs, you can get a workout for your abs standing up. Is that so? That's pretty much it, you know, for my workout. Um, very high rep, high volume, uh, great body weight workout. So try it out. Um, let me know. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what you think. And now we're just gonna get to the rest of my day. All right, man. So workout was excellent, super deluxe. <laughs> uh, so pretty much, like I said, it was gonna be a body weight type of day. So uh, that's really what this one is, other than like that shoulder exercise. Um, and I showed actually some of these exercises you probably never seen before. So definitely try them out, and you're definitely gonna get a good pump. Definitely gonna get some good results. So right now I'm about to go get me. I need to pick up some sugar-free syrup and some cream cheese. That's what I forgot from shoppers earlier. And other than that, go home and get this uh, post-workout meal and start eating for the day, man. I ate yet, man. All I have is my protein and my pre-workout. So I'm gonna get to it. All right, man. So post-workout, you already know, man. Post-gym, and I'm actually taking some weight right now because I still got some left. So I'm gonna wait till this is. I'm um, going to get some more, probably isolate or something. I don't know. I might go back to taking blends only, but uh, so this is like two scoops of this episode. So this one and that. And I'm going to try this out. This maple French toast shit that's going to be my post workout carbs today, man. So I'm going to try this out and see what it's tasting like. Let's look at the, uh, the makers on this bitch. So we got here. Focus. Let's see. 260 calories. Uh, carbohydrates is 50 grams. Uh, so that's perfect for post workouts. Not, I mean, it's a, it's a decent amount. Uh, protein not green. So we're gonna eat this, put some cream cheese on this bitch, and we're gonna be golden. And then first meal, as usual, three eggs. Got my ham in there, sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. And I got two of the blueberry kashi waffles. And I'm gonna put some water farms right on top of it. And this is gonna be my good meal, my, my first meal. <laughs> so I decided to go a little bit lighter with the carbohydrates. So two of these, like 25 grams of carbs, um, since I just had, you know, my post-workout carbs and everything. Now I'm probably gonna go for about, Probably about 200 to 240 grams of carbohydrates today. Uh, we'll see. I haven't really planned it out because it's my first day back in the routine and everything. I woke up late. And right now I'm about to rush because I have to go pick up my dog from uh, from Manassas and then bring her back here because my mom has been watching her and she's been fucking her house up. Uh, so I'm about to go get her. Then I got to go to work at 9 o'clock. I only have like an hour to do this. So I'm going to get to that shit. I'm going to talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, man. I'm about to pick up my dog. I ain't seen her in 10 days. <laughs> I'm about to give my mom some money too. So let's see how uh, the dog reacts. When she sees me. There she is right there. <laughs> I see her right there through the window. There she is. Uh-oh. I missed her, man. <laughs> hey, what's up? Watch your shit. Run out there, camera. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Get off my camera. What's up, girl? Yeah. You didn't see me in 10 days. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Huh? What's up? Huh? <laughs> you been terrorizing my mom's house? Huh? Huh? Hey, chill, smack me. I'm too. Wow, man. She looks bigger. She looks bigger. What? Man, she tore this. She oh. tore this. She fucked it up. Look at that. I see. Fucking dog. And then this one, too. She tore the bottom out. Both of them. She chewed the battery gone. Everything gone. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, she messed you up. You are my bad. Other good shoes, too. You? Hey, you. Sit. You put out oh, the water bone hey, oh, You're bad. Alright, man. So, next meal, nice and simple. Six ounces of shredded chicken from the crock pot. And two, of, like, I think I said before, like two of the English muffins. I put peanut butter and sugar free strawberries I was in this bitch, man. So, I'm about to kill this. Uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about what I'm doing right now and my goals. Alright, man. So, before I talk about anything else, um, I want to show you guys what my last two meals are going to be. So right here, I got six ounces of uh, ground turkey with a little bit of cheese in there that I just made. And also I got a burrito uh, shell in there. It's the Carb Balance whole wheat tortilla joints. So I got one of those in there. 
Um, and that's gonna be my next meal, probably along with these two little cuties. Um, that's what they're called. I wasn't just calling them the cuties. <laughs> um, then I got four ounces of chicken. Um, I might have the cuties with those just because I don't have any other carbs for for the day. It's gonna be right about right at about 240 carbs for the day, man. So uh, I'm about to head back to work, drink the muscle armor, and talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, man. So I'm about to eat my next meal, but so to talk about just a little bit what I'm doing right now. So. Like I said before, obviously I've started my bulk and everything. So what I'm doing is I'm focusing on full body training probably for the next six to 12 weeks. I haven't decided how long yet. Depends on kind of like, you know, how the gains are with this program and if they, you know, continue um, in the manner that I expect them to. So I'm doing full body training because it's really good for, you know, making like really lean gains and you know not have to worry about you know getting like too fat or whatever because you turn your body into like a whole fat burning machine because if you work everybody every body part you know mo um you know multiple days a week you're that's a lot of muscle tissue that has to recover so your body's gonna be burning a lot more calories okay so it was really good to you know for fat burning but also it's really good for muscle growth because you're spiking muscle protein synthesis in each muscle you know every time that you're working out and this is five days in a row so that's five days in a row we're keeping muscle protein synthesis um elevated in each muscle group man so that is really really good for uh for growth and it's really gonna you know for me i think that it's gonna help me explore my results especially uh since i'm eating you know you know a good amount of calories now um getting getting all the food that i need um when I was cutting, it was like it's it, it's more like a maintaining game for me, um, you know, as as things get like deeper into the cut. But then, you know, when I'm eating a little bit more, it's not really that hard to grow and get stronger and shit. So, um, I created my own little program. Today was day five, so I'm gonna, as you know, as I do the program, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, like each day or whatever. Each day is different. I call it the full body switch up because each day uses a different either technique or rep range. Okay, so. Um, it follows like a different type of periodization. So like day one follows linear periodization. Day two um, follows a reverse linear periodization. And day one, you know, is compound movements. Day two is isolation movements. Day three, we're going back to the compound movements, but we're using, you know, the four minute muscle technique. Day four, back to the isolations, but we're doing Tabatas. Day five is kind of just like a high rep body weight type of day and just you know just trying to perform better each time that i do it so um and for legs it's usually when i do like my i'm gonna try to get my romania deadlift strength up right now because i can't do regular deadlifts with this like with this type of volume like with the full body program it's just not gonna work out so i prefer to do the romanian song so I'll try to get that that up and i think that that will transfer very well over to my regular deadlift so that's what i'm doing right now and i'm expecting great gains from it, man. i already feel like you know getting stronger i already feel like i'm getting a little bit bigger and everything so it's going really good so i'm going to keep you guys updated i'll probably do like you know maybe one to two videos a week um on this specific thing and i'm gonna start to get my informational videos back out there again so um other than that man i hope you like the video man don't forget to like the video man don't forget to share it hit that subscribe button and i'm gonna holla at y'all man make a man job